Greetings one and all. Welcome back to my kitchen here today where I'm going to be using my slow cooker here to make Hawaiian style slow cooked pork and I'm going to be using a nice um, uh, pork collar butt or um, Boston butt I think it's called and all I've done with that is I've just given it a bit of a brown up in the fry pan first and a bit of vegetable oil before we throw it in our cooker. That um, cut of meat will take a good long slow cook which is what we're doing. Cold day here today. Perfect for a nice long slow cook. Right, let's get on with it. So I'm just going to put a few ingredients in here before I throw in my pork. Simple, simple recipe. I've just got a 565 gram can of pineapple pieces and that's got a bit of syrup in it. Just open that. Toss it in. Now towards the end of the cook, I am gonna be introducing a bit more pineapple. I've actually got a tiny little fresh pineapple here too but I'm saving that for a bit later we'll throw it in towards the end like I say all right one onion just sort of coarsely chopped sliced whatever you want to call it three cloves of garlic that I've just given a bit of a bash I've got a big knob of ginger that I've grated Get it in there, juice and all. Right, a few more ingredients. I've got a third of a cup of soy sauce. And it goes. Quarter of a cup apple cider vinegar. Quarter cup brown sugar. Brown sugar. I think Mick Jagger's in danger. I've got here one and a half teaspoons of paprika. A bit of salt. Not too much, we've got that soy in there. Don't forget. Now this is optional, but I've just got a few of these uh, dried chilies. And I'm just gonna break them up a bit. To make my dish a little bit spicy so yeah they just these dry ones just break and I'm putting seeds and all in and if you've watched been hanging around my channel for a little bit now you know I like things a bit spicy and this will be no exception to that but as I say totally optional all right just stir that powder, that paprika, into those other liquids a bit. I'm just going to get my piece of pork here, on my tongs. Put a can. Throw that in there. And I'm going to get that onto about an 8 hour cook. Um, I'll keep an eye on the liquid level. If I have to add a little bit more, I will. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Alrighty, I'll get back to you. <laughs> actually guys, I did actually uh, manage to miss one ingredient. I also want to whack in just some um, tomato sauce or ketchup into that mix as well now only about the same amount of um, vinegar I put in so that's about a quarter of a cup like so and just 
Got a bit of a stir in. I opened it up just to have a look at it and I thought that doesn't look quite right and then I, rem I remembered. <laughs> Alright, we'll get to leaving it again. Alrighty, so my pork butt there, my Boston, Boston butt, has been cooking away in that um, liquid for about six hours. So still, yeah, a couple of hours to go. Now a few times during that time I've turned it over and yeah just testing as we go it's getting soft in some places but yeah, it's still got a bit longer to go if your skewer sort of sticks in it and pulls it up like that when well, you know yeah, it's not full apart cooked yet but what i did do is i showed you that um fresh pineapple i've i purchased that little one and all i've done now is i've just cut that up into little pieces and I'm just going to gently throw that in as well. Like so, along with the juice. And I'll just get the lid back on that and yeah, just keep slow cooking it away for another couple of hours. Alrighty guys, so we've now gone the full eight hours. Um, I've just pulled my piece of um, Boston butt pork out of, out of that um, slow cooker. And I guess what I'm going to do is sort of the typical thing and just sort of uh, yeah. What do you call this? Pulling it. <laughs> That's it. Yeah, so we're just going to pull it apart. But I'm not going to pull the whole thing apart um, at the moment because I'm hungry. I've been smelling this all day. I'm just going to serve up a serving of this. Some of my pork, some of my sauce, and I think I'll have it on some rice. Alrighty guys, so I've served up a plate here of my Hawaiian pineapple pork. Um, I've loaded plenty of juice onto that with my rice. Um, yeah, let's try a bit of the pork. Yeah, I know. It's just um, yeah, falling apart in my mouth. I'll try and get a... Um, I mean, it's not the prettiest looking dish. <laughs> I mean, basically, it's a stew. It's a pork and pineapple stew, really. But let's just see if we can get... <laughs> oh, dear. More on the uh, fork there. There I am. Mm. 
Alrighty guys, that's absolutely delicious. It has got a hint of um, quite a yeah, a bit more than a hint. You can taste that spiciness from the chili. It's not overpowering or anything like that. Um, but if you want to leave, the, like I said at the start, if you want to leave the chili out, that's up to you. But I highly recommend it. It just gives it that beautiful back note, that smokiness of the dry chili. It's yum. It's a really, really nice dish. Alrighty. Alrighty. Thanks for watching. Thanks to everyone who has subscribed to the channel. I really, really appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed yet, can I just ask that you hit that subscribe button? It doesn't cost you anything. It's all... Nothing happens. <laughs> You're not obligated in any way, shape or form. It just helps me out. And also, similarly, if you hit that little icon button, all it does is give you a notification when I upload videos. And, yeah, I don't follow a fixed schedule like a lot of YouTubers. I just sort of upload them when I can, when I've got a spare minute, a spare day off in between my shifts. Um, as I always say, if you don't want to do any of that, it's no problem. And I will see you all next time.